Mom, please don't look at me like then that. Then start giving me some answers. I'm away for one night and find out you've been arrested in a car heist? It wasn't a heist. Marina just took her own car back. The car was impounded. But she wanted it really badly. And she's older than me, and I wanted to be her friend. So when she wanted me to be the lookout, I just... I wanted to fit in. You know, I hate to say this, but the officer that I spoke to painted a very different picture. At... Olivia, thanks, but Philip and I have this covered, okay? Well, no, you, you didn't have it covered last night because I was the one who had to go down and bail your daughter out of jail while you were in Chicago at a concert. I don't want to fight Mom, with you. Mom, she's I right. Just... You and Dad weren't there for me. But Olivia was. Olivia, could you give the three of us a moment alone, please? Sit down. Now, I want you to start from the beginning, and I want you to tell us exactly what happened last night. I messed up, Mom. I accidentally told Marina's dad that her boyfriend bought her car, and now Marina and Tammy think I did it on purpose. Why would they think that? I don't know, but they've been really mean to me since her dad impounded the car. So when I heard Marina planning to take it back, I just thought if I helped that they would think I was a good friend. I know it was wrong, but it was like boarding school all over again, the way that they were picking on me. I just want to make that bad feeling go away. Lizzie, I need you to promise me something, okay? Anything, Dad. Just please don't hate me. Oh, sweetie, nobody hates you. It seems like that sometimes. Well, it's not true. But whenever you feel like that, when you, when you feel like everybody hates you and you feel like you don't fit in, whether it's here or whether it's at boarding school, I don't care where it is, I want you to promise me that you will come to your mom and me first, okay? Because acting out like this and, and trying to prove yourself to people is not what you want to do. Okay? Just, just talk to us, all right? It'll save everybody a lot of trouble. I'm so sorry I messed up. It's okay. Uh, I love you so much. You know, all your mom and I want is for you to be happy. Thank you, Dad. I love you guys, too. Yeah. You still mad at me, Mom? No, I'm not mad at you, but I am worried. Philip, can I just speak to you alone for a minute? I hope you're really sorry. Sure. Sorry. Whatever. We can't just let this slide. First she's accused of arson, and now she's arrested for stealing a oh, car. What's I next? I think you're letting your mom get to you. Look, I, I know Lillian was concerned. I'm concerned. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe she needs more help than we can give her. Lizzie! Darling, are you all right? I just heard about what happened at the jail last night, and I rushed Alice, right over, I, but... May I, may I speak with you for a minute? What? Great. What are you doing? Stay out. This is none of your business. Oh, well, forgive me, please, for being concerned about my niece. Lizzie will be fine. Her family will take care of her. I am her family. And you have taken this sad, sorry family along with you. Oh, Phil, when don't you came back to Springfield, you were supposed to be the salvation of the Spaldings. Well, let me tell you something. You have destroyed us. I hope it was worth it. What was it for? Was it for the company? <laughs> was it just for some power trips that you get one up on Alan? Oh, no. It was for you. I did it for you. Lizzie, I need to speak with your mother. Go ahead, she's right there. Alone, please. Beth, can we talk? Look, I love Philip, and I care about his children, and I hope, hope, that one day you can accept me as part of Lizzie and James' lives. Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? I don't know. <laughs> I just know that I don't want to be an enemy to you or to Lizzie. 
Lizzie's been through enough as it is. I don't want her to be caught in a battle between two adults. Well, then I guess it's okay if I ask about her. Have you noticed anything different about her since she's come back from school? She just seems to be struggling, and I was wondering if she wouldn't benefit from getting some help. Olivia, I may not want to do battle with you, but I'm not going to accept your advice either. Not when it comes to my daughter. So you did it all for me. Like some big Christmas birthday combination present, I guess. You'll have to do better than that. Because you of all people know that I never wanted any of this. Oh, Philip. Philip, I've known from the time you were a child that you were different. Oh, you had, a, you had as much business savvy as Alan or Brandon did, but you had something even more important. You had values which they didn't have. Well, that's a really, really lofty thing to say. You sure that I'm your man? Yes, of course I am. Why else would I go to all this trouble? Well, that's the billion-dollar question, isn't it? <sighs> Olivia has been the cause of this disaster from the very, very beginning. See, I've had to stand around and watch Alan try to strip you of everything. Of everything, just because you fell in love with her. Mm. Well, I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to do something. And you know why? Because I love you. I believe in you as the future, future of this whole family. I'll see him back in a moment alone. Philip, I know you still want the company, but you're going to have to get rid of Olivia first. I'm not discussing this with you. Olivia is pregnant. We're together. Get used to it. Oh, Philip, Philip, please. Don't you see what Alan will do if he finds out that this baby is his? He will come after that child. He will destroy you and Olivia. No. Please. There's still time. He hasn't put Gus in control of anything yet. So work with me, will you please? Will you find out who the real father is and then fight with me? We're done here. Olivia, please drop whatever you're doing here and meet me at the Beacon. I'm not going to meet you anywhere. Oh, I think you will. 